In this video, you will be learning about the different data types in system Verilog in a simplified manner. While learning system Verilog, data types could be quite confusing, especially when you know Verilog language and when you do a direct comparison with the Verilog data type. Here you will be learning about what all are the different data types in system Verilog and how you can map them to the Verilog data types and also what will happen when you use the logic keyword in system Verilog. Before going to the topic, please do subscribe us if you haven't and also visit our website at systemvelloacademy.com Now if you know Verilog, you know that the data types in Verilog were a wire and a register. Even though there were some derived data types from the wire and register, there were only two categories of data types which is a wire and a register. And it really makes sense because in a final digital hardware, you need only either a register or wires to connect them together. Therefore, the basic data types in Verilog were a wire type and a register type. A wire type doesn't have any storage capacity, but a register type had a storage capacity in them. That means by declaring a variable as a single bit register, you will be able to save a value into that register. Now coming to system Verilog, the question is, are the data types same in system Verilog as in Verilog? So the answer would be no. If you directly map system Verilog data types to Verilog data types, you will end up with a lot of confusion. In Verilog, we had a wire type without any storage capacity which is representing a physical wire and a register which is declared by using the reg keyword which have a storage capacity and which can be used as storage element. And Verilog called these two entities as data types and you were able to declare a variable of type wire or type register. Now coming to system Verilog, system Verilog doesn't call these two categories as a data type but instead it calls as something else. In system Verilog, these two categories are called as a signal type or a data entity type I would say. Note that this is, these are the not official names and they are classified as either a net or a variable. That means whatever you called as a wire data type in Verilog is equivalent to a net data entity in system Verilog and in the same way a register data type in Verilog is equivalent to a variable data entity in system Verilog. So as I said previously they are not officially called as data entity type or signal type. Different documents called them by different names but in LRM these are called as data objects. So if you open the latest system value which is the 2018 IEEE standard, you will see data objects and data types and the data object is nothing but the category of data entity in system value and those are nets and variables. And again remember a net represents a physical net or a physical wire and a variable represents a storage element. And also note that the nets and variables are not data types but they are data objects or I would call them as data entity type. Now if you wanted to declare a data entity type of net you can use any of these keywords like wire, try, try0, supply0, supply1, try1 etc. Or you can even use the keyword net type which is again used to define user defined data entity. So as a beginner don't worry about any of them. Just understand that if you just use the keyword wire it is one of the keyword that is used to declare a net type data entity in system Verilog. And in the same way if you wanted to declare a variable type data entity in system Verilog you have to use the keyword var. So at this point this might look quite confusing for you but it will be very clear for you when you look at the next slide where you will see the syntax to declare these two data entity types. The syntax to declare these data entities or the data objects or the signal types in system Verilog is like this. To declare a net type you have to first write the net type identifier. For example a wire is a net type identifier. And next you have to write the data type and finally give the entity name. And in the same way if you wanted to declare a variable type data entity 
you have to use the keyword var there is only one keyword that can declare as a variable that is the var keyword next you have to use the data type and finally give the entity name now i hope it is very clear for you that the data type in system log is not something similar to the data type in verilog so the data type in verilog is something similar to the the data object or the data entity type or the signal type in system verilog which is again of two categories that is the net type and the variable type along with the data entity type you have to use the data type which you will learn next to declare an entity of that type as an example if you wanted to declare a wire type entity you will be writing it like wire logic w where wire is this net type identifier the logic is the data type and w is the entity name and in the same way an example of declaring a variable is var logic v where var is a keyword to declare a variable type and logic is the data type here and v is the entity name or the variable name here now if you have already used system verilog you might be thinking i have never used the keyword var when i write a program and that is true to declare a variable you don't need to use the keyword var always if you just specify the data type and the entity name by default it will be treated as a variable type that means if you are declaring like logic v1 that is equivalent to var logic v1 in the same way if you are writing like logic 7 down to 0 v1 it is equivalent to var logic 7 down to 0 v2 that means whenever you are writing in system verilog programs like a data type followed by some name all of them are treated as variables even if you haven't used the keyword var in front of them by default if you simply use the data type it will be treated as var but if you wanted to specify them as net type you have to specifically use any of the net type identifier there which are supply 0 or supply 1 try try and try or wire etc and to add a bit of confusion here if you use any of the keyword to declare an entity you don't necessarily write this data type here that means you can write it like wire w1 and by default this data type in a net type declaration will be always logic data type that means if you are writing like wire w1 it is equivalent to wire logic w1 and in the same way if you are writing like wire 7 down to 0 w2 it is equivalent to wire logic 7 down to 0 w2 so as a summary this is the syntax to declare a net type entity a net type identifier such as wire supply zero try zero etc next is the data type the data type such as int logic bit byte etc then the name of this entity and in the same way to declare a variable the ideal syntax is the keyword var then any data type like int logic bit byte etc then the entity name or the variable name and as i said previously if you are just declaring a data type followed by an entity name it is always treated as a variable type and therefore if you just writing it like logic v1 it is equivalent to var logic v1 and in the same way when you declare a net type entity you don't need to necessarily pass this data type and by default the data type will be always logic data type that is writing like var w1 is equivalent to var logic w1 and most commonly in system verilog programming we will be only writing programs in this manner that is whenever you want to declare a variable we will simply declare the variable by writing it like system verilog data type followed by the variable name and for net types you will be writing it like var or any other net type name followed by the entity name now i hope it is very clear for you that system verilog data type is not equivalent to verilog data type but in system verilog we can call them as data entity type or data objects and they are nets and variable a system verilog net type entity is equivalent to verilog wire entity 
and the system will log variable type category is equal to a variable log register type category which can save some value in that next we will see what all are the data types in system will log in fact the data type is something that you are writing after writing the data entity type identifier like a wire or var and before learning the system will log data types i want to quickly tell you that these are the value set in system will log as well as in will log for any entity or for any variable it can hold one of these four values in simulation or synthesis that is 0 1 x and z where 0 represents a logic 0 and in a condition it can represent a false as well and a 1 represent a logic 1 or the high voltage and in a condition it can represent a true condition as well and x represents an unknown logic value and an z represents a high impedance state in a circuit. And note that all data types in system value cannot hold all these four values. Some of them can hold only two values that is 0 and 1 and some of them can hold all the four values that is 0, 1, x and z. This is a broader classification of system value of data types. They are integer data types, real data type, string data type, void data type, C handle or channel data type, enumerations, structures, union, classes, events and constants. The integer data types are declared by using any of these keywords that is int, short int, long int, integer, time, bit and byte. A real type data type is declared by using any of these three keywords real, short real and real time. Again in integer data types, some of them are two state data types now some of them are four state data types which can hold all the four values that is 0, 1, x and z. And in general all the real type data types are four state data types as well. Now apart from integer and real, any of these data types that is string, void, if class structure or enumeration doesn't need a classification whether it is a two state or four state because it doesn't make sense. And also note that not all of these data types are allowed in a synthesizable RTL or an RTL design program. And out of this the int and real data types are widely used in RTL coding. And string type, void type, C handle type, classes, events are not used in RTL code or design code. And enumerations, structures, unions and constants can be used in system log RTL code or system log design code. Now as we discussed earlier, again we can categorize these integer data types as two state or four state which is given here. Short int int, long int, byte and bit are two state data types in system will log and a logic, reg, integer and time are four state data types in system will log. So the difference between int and integer is int is two state and integer is four state. The keyword reg in system will log was added only to give a backward compatibility with very log. As we discussed previously, by default, all the variables can hold a value or all the variables in system Verilog are equivalent to the register category in Verilog and all the net type in system Verilog is equivalent to the wire category in Verilog. Finally, the data types time and real time can be used to hold the simulation time in test bench code and they are not widely used in RTL code. So that is all about the category of data types in system will log. Now as we said previously, in an ideal situation, the data types need to be declared along with the data entity type such as a net type or a variable type. You can use all the data types that you have seen previously with a var type or a variable type entity. But not all of them are allowed with a net type entity such as a wire or supply zero. Again I would say don't worry too much about what all are allowed with the net type. In general you can use the integer type and real type along with a net type category. And also enumeration structures and union can be declared along with net type entity. Now finally 
you will be learning about the magical system will look keyword called logic you have already seen that if you are just writing like logic v1 it will be treated as a variable type by default that is writing logic v1 is equivalent to var logic v1 now if you simply use a logic keyword the advantage is that the simulation or synthesizing tool will automatically interprets its behavior as either as a net type category or a var type or variable type category according to the usage or, or according to the behavior of the circuit so this will make your life easy that means you can simply declare them as logic if you declare an entity as a logic in a port list in a module that will be treated as a net type entity or in simple words that will be treated as a wire type entity and if you use a logic in any other part apart from the port list in general that will be treated as a variable or var type which is nothing but something that have a storage in it so that is end of this video to summarize we know how two data types either a wire type or a register type a wire is a physical wire and a register is a physical storage and in system velog these two concepts are not called as data types they are called as data objects in the lrm or we can call them as data entity type also they are not called by the same name they are called by the names net and variables that means if the data entity type in system will look called net is equivalent to a wire or that will be always a physical wire and the data entity type in system will look called variable will be always a physical register or that will be always something with a storage element in that while declaring a net type or a variable type you have to first use the appropriate identifier for net type there are many identifier for variable type there is only one identifier called var and after that you have to write the data type of that entity and finally write the entity name and therefore the data types in system velog is not something similar to the data types in verilog and these are the data types in system velog and by default if you are not writing the data entity type it will be always treated as a variable name and finally if you use the logic data type the tools will automatically take care of whether it is a net type or a variable type depending on where it is used and in general all the logic type in port list will be treated as net and all the logic types in other parts of the program will be treated as variables or the storage elements so that's the end of this video if you like the video please do subscribe us and visit our website at systemvelloacademy.com also please do share about the information about our another website called joseph dot academy where kids and beginners can learn the concepts of programming by using python programming language thank you for watching happy learning